Oh, I was gonna say, you could just have like one of the NCS things playing. Oh. That was Zammed. Oh, that was it? Yeah. You got the soundtrack? I got the whole uh, CD from the group that played that. What's going on, ladies and gents? Three, we're here for T3G along with... Full Throttle. And we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, we're feeling a little hungry, but we want to do those reviews for you guys for last week's shows and the week before because, as you just saw, hopefully, maybe, I don't know if we have the clips, though, but if we had the clip, you saw, we lost audio. So we lost audio about a minute in. So we had no footage from last week, and, you know, after 45 minutes, we really didn't want to do it no more. So uh, we're going to talk about Gotham, Gotham's finale. We're going to talk about two weeks of uh, iZombie, two weeks of Agents, Arrow, and Flash. Which Arrow gives was us, like, finale three as well. finales. It gives us Agents, S.H.I.E.L.D., Gotham, and uh, uh, Arrow. Yeah. Three, three season three finales. Three season finales. Three season finales. So on the way to Subway, we are going to talk about... Uh, Gotham. Yeah, let's do Gotham since that's like the only one that's not a double this week. Um, I like Penguin is the man at the end. Yeah. Um, I like uh, Fish Mooney just shooting uh, Maroney right in the face. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that that was necessary. Maroney was way underused in this show. Yeah, and uh, I hope as much as I like Jada, J uh, what's her name? Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett, Pinkett Smith. As much as I like her as an actress, I hated her character after a while. So I'm a lot. hoping, yeah, a lot. So I'm Full hoping ice. she did not survive that fall. Realistically speaking, listen, that was an enormous fall. Anyone would have died. Yeah. If they play some Hollywood movie slash comic book magic where it's like, Oh, she just happened to catch it at the right moment, the right angle. Like, an experienced diver with a perfect, perfect jump might possibly be able to walk away with, like, broken bones. Right. And not be able to walk, maybe think for a while. Yeah. She fell randomly because she was pushed, and I just don't think, I just don't think she's, she's survived. No, not at Even all. Even though they were, you know, David Ayers was talking about bringing her back and stuff, and I'm like, no, I don't want you to. No, I mean, listen, her, at the, I think it's a good ending for the character. Yeah. She was a badass, uh, and then she, you know, Penguin ended it. So, I like the way it is. I hope they kind of veer off that. I don't need her to come back personally. Yeah. Overall, I thought it was the best episode uh, of it the season. It was absolutely the best episode of the season. Best episode it was one of the of things, season. I really liked, of again, best moment of the season, Barbara. I liked how crazy she was. Yeah, Barbara was uh, crazy. I like how well she portrayed that role. Um, just that the extension from the previous episode where she was kind of just like zoned out. Now you're not sure what happened, right? Because now she's saying, oh, he made me... Or no, he, he didn't. You know, he didn't kill them. I killed them. Right. I stabbed them. Right. And it's like it's oh, interesting they didn't that show they went that. that because they didn't show that. They show him going in, and then it cuts. But it cuts. So so you don't know what happened. It's possible. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, but it's one of those things. Plus, then she came after uh, Leslie, so it's one of those things that it's hard to tell. But she yeah. played it to a T. She played it excellently, and it, it was just done fantastically. Yeah. Uh, what I didn't like was uh, was Selena. It was kind of like the beginning of her criminal career and it was right at the beginning where you know you have that two week two week gap where she sees fish come in and I don't know if that was supposed to be like some sort of like you know vi you know uh, I can't think of the the, the, the word uh, but it was supposed to be kind of like her mentor arriving her savior you know yeah yeah and it's like uh, I mean I guess cause then she she got with her and where are you going I'm just going through oh, the okay. back somewhere um, she got you know she she hooked up with her you know got in, in, in the you know c group gear you know that like kind of post apocalyptic rebel outfit uh, <laughs> with the with the 80's hair which honestly like I get Selena is technically a bad guy when she grows up, or a bad right. person, should I say? But even then, um, she like 
but she helps out Batman. She ends up being exactly. an ally. So like, so so like seeing all this. But I at really, the same time, you saw that kind of doubt in her mind when she when she killed Maroni. You saw it. She was like, "Whoa, this got really real." Yeah, yeah. But but I at mean, the same time, the then same she time, took then she took the shotgun and went and found them. And, and she also back. did push somebody out of a, a window. Yeah, three so, story, four story window. Yeah, so, so she she killed the dude. Yeah. Um. And so let's just talk about that last moment just real quick. I. Was hoping that it wasn't the cave, right? So I wasn't hoping. I was hoping that it was like like a secret room. It was just gonna be like <laughs> it's definitely the cave. I, but it, no question about it. No it's the cave. question about it. I hope, I I pray that they give it a good treatment. I don't want yeah. them to just start being like, oh, he was kind of a vigilante or anything like that. I don't want them. That's a huge gimme. I don't want that. No. Uh, I would love for them to do like a six month gap at least. We want them to do like a four year four gap. year gap would be great, even though that would eliminate uh, the person that's playing Bruce Wayne now. Right, right. Which he's a great actor, and I love his uh, uh, role as Bruce Wayne. But it would be ideal, I think, to help the show. Yeah. But six months would definitely be uh, the thing, which would make sense with even the timeline because it will be about six months since we see the show. Right. So. Uh, I think personally they need to do at least six months, if not four years. But it's definitely the cave. I'm hoping basically like he had some tech down there. He had computers and basically he was just trying to fight the corruption of his business down there by doing research and stuff like that. Not by like fighting crime, just by like researching stuff and kind right. of being in the background fighting the corruption that sure, is there. Sure. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, and I hope they do it justice because, man, this is going to be big for a TV show doing the Batman cave, technically. I mean, to, I mean, it's been 60 years since it's been on TV. So right. the Bat cave in a live action fashion. Right. I, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be, you know, I don't know. I don't I think know. It's gonna be interesting. It'll be interesting, but it's definitely the cave. Yeah, without absolutely a doubt. The cave. Absolutely without a cave. doubt. I mean, you see the cave walls when he's looking down the path. Yeah. Um, I truly hope they show it in the next first episode. I hope they don't do something where they're like trying right. to ignore it for a second. Right. Yeah. And make it like a big deal at like the mid season. No, no, no. I, I want I it. I want. It. I want there to be a six month gap because they really set it up. You know, with with uh, Falcone saying, "I'm out of here." Yeah. You know, I'm done with this. And he said, "Which I love." That moment was my favorite in the whole episode, where he says, "Gotham needs a lawman." Yeah. And the first thing that came to my mind was Gordon begins. Right. <laughs> like, this is this is the first this is the first uh, first moment of, uh, of of his rise to power. I so I think it's gonna be great because I think he's gonna. I would love for him because he's right now he's still just a detective. Just a detective. So yeah. what I'm hoping is that come. Next season, because here's my thought, right? Loeb openly came out and, like, brought some gangsters to kill him. Yeah. And to kill somebody else. Yeah. So, he has, at the very least, enough evidence to put him away. So, what I'm hoping is that we have a six-month gap. The lieutenant is now commissioner. Uh -huh. And he's lieutenant. I agree. That's what I want. I, I want agree. there to be forward motion. I don't want them to stick with this Detective Gordon nonsense. I agree. I want the show, if it ends in, you know, three, five seasons, whatever, uh, six seasons in the movie, whatever, um... That's a, that's a community reference. Right. <laughs> um, I want it to end with Jim Gordon either becoming commissioner... Right. ...or being commissioner for a while and witnessing the birth of Batman. Yeah. I agree. I, agree. I don't think... I think it ends with Batman showing up at, yeah. at the absolute best possibility. Absolutely. Um, you know, at a good ending, the show ends with him becoming commissioner and you kind of have the seeds sown. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree with that. But that's basically it. I don't yeah. really have much more to say about that. That's pretty much it. We're going to go get some Subway. and uh, we're break gonna time. Can you continue this in a minute? So, we just we discussed Gotham. So, what we'll do you want to do? Crack some skulls at USPS. Uh, crack some skulls at U USPS because uh, packages be lost. Um, but what do you want to talk about this time? Uh, let's talk about iZombie real quick. iZombie. Well, yeah, we only have... I mean, we have two episodes, but overall it should be quick. Um, what was what was the one before this week? What what happened? What was going uh, on? That was Major bought a gun. Major at bought the a end. gun. Um, it was the she had a conversation with Major. He told her about you know, or he, he told uh, uh, yeah, he told 
her about the brains. He told her about the brains two right. episodes ago. Um, I guess I this one. Uh, the rat experiment. They they figured out that the the rat turned. Right. They figured out the rat turned. So yeah, I mean that episode to me, it was like I said before. It was just another that episode. Was, which one was that? That was the. I'm trying to think who the victim was. Um, I can't remember. The news radio chick. Yes, yes, news yes, radio. Yes, 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 yes thank yes. you. So she uh, was uh, very uh, forthright with her advice. Yeah, well, and there's that, and also because she was uh, uh, a relationship expert, so she was giving out right relationship tips. So yeah, that was. I mean, listen, uh, the most interesting part of that episode to me was the fact that. Her boss, the Ruglishly, Ruglish, how do you say it? Ruglish? Ruggedly. Ruggedly, handsome British man. Um, <laughs> you were trying to combine was, the whole statement. Yes, I was. I ruggish. Was, yeah, ruggish. <laughs> um, uh, that he got bit. That was, you know what, I I kind of foresaw it, even though he was playing that whole, oh, this is like, you know, chain mail for the hand. Right. And then I was like, chain mail still has holes in it. Right. <laughs> and and rats are tiny with tiny teeth. Exactly. Um, and that's what happened. He got bit. So then at the beginning of this episode, he's monitoring himself. Yep. And I like that he, they dragged that out through the whole, for the love of Mike. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Uh, <laughs> um, so, um, he was trying to... He, he was holding on to it the whole time. So, he didn't drop the bomb on her like that with, uh, oh, hey, by the way, till like, the end. Yeah, yeah. And it was great how he did it. He's like, but on the plus side of things, we found out that uh, zombieism is not transferable between species. Yeah. And she's like, how did we find that out? But at the same time, did we really find out it's species or did we find out that he's immune? I mean... That hasn't been tested. This is true. This that is true. That hasn't been tested. We don't know if I mean, he's not going. it's a species thing. He He's not going to... Test that. Test that. <laughs> I'm sure you know, he's No not. one would. I'm sure he's uh, not. But oh, I'm I mean, thinking he'll have an opportunity to sure. without wanting to, of course. But. Well, he could always also, like, take her blood and his blood and see if he can mix... I mean, I don't know how science works, but maybe he can do something with that. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, you can always test it outside yeah. of yourself, of course. Um... But here's the thing. What I really liked is that she finally found out that uh, Lowell is a customer of, of was it Blaine? Yeah. Uh, so yes. Lowell is a customer of Blaine. Mm -hmm. um, she confronted them in this uh, last episode. In this last episode. I right. love the fact that she uh, she ate the brains of a major's friend or major's kid that he's been looking for. Well, that was that. Well, that was last episode. Right. Uh, this episode, she had the the sniper. Yes. So yes. A uh, uh, an elite. Uh, like green beret sniper or something. I will say something this, ridiculous. Even though it's a minute thing, I'm glad they didn't show her eating the brain. Like they just kind of skipped to it. Like it's already been eaten. Now she's the soul. Yeah, it's just and something. I like that. It's I just like something that. we're accepting now. Like it's yeah. it happens at some point, and that's how we're getting all these visions and stuff. Because um, at at some point they're just gonna run out of ways to eat. Right. It's like oh like. Oh, more hot sauce. Hot more sauce, I get it. Salad. S yeah, I get it. Scrambled eggs. Yeah, uh, I get, get it. All. We get, I get it. it. You you eat. Uh, you know. I mean, they, they showed it a little bit at the end. They had, they had like a puree when yeah, the yeah, was yeah, over yeah, at Lowell's. Yeah. Um, so she she decided to take that that training, the, the, the sniper training, and take out Blaine. She was like, I need to kill him. He, he's a freaking right. virus, yeah. and I need to end him. Yeah. And he is she a virus. sets she sets it up, ready to go, and she couldn't do it. But, and and she's, Lowell, who who earlier in the episode said, I'm not that guy. He's like, I'm not a hero. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a punk, basically. You right. what he said. Um, he's like, I love you. You know, like he, he, he kind Well, of did he it. did. And the reason he did that, of course, because he got the same, he saw the same thing she yeah. saw earlier. And he realized, yeah, this, this guy's, guy's a go. monster. This guy's, this guy's a go. monster. He's killing innocent kids to give people brains so and and that was interesting and i think 
th this episode, this last episode, really, I just loved it because she tried to kill him. It was more involved in that story than it yeah, was. Yeah, it was, it was more of the overall story. Like, yeah. we still figured out the whole, the, the, the episodic portion of right. it. Right. We still figured out who killed uh, the sniper and all that stuff. Absolutely. Which was crazy and kind of weird. It was. Really unnecessary. I don't know. That was... I don't know. I feel like I, I'm offended as a nerd that a nerd was used as the as the the guy who did it. I'm not because he's successful. He has a wife, a family. But so greed, yeah, really at all at the end of all of that, he's a very successful person already. Makes has his own company or, or works at a company. He works at a company where he's in a higher. He's position. a top dog, you know. And they're like, well, we can make you an even, you know, top, top dog on top of that. Listen. And he's like, you know what I should do? I should kill the one one guy that's standing in my way to do that. Like, but it's I, don't, I just don't see that that jump. I just don't see that jump. Cause that's, I do. That's upsetting to me. Because to me, I it's do. like, all right, well, you know what? That'd be a great opportunity. Um, I have a lot of money. I'm going to be making you a lot more money. I'm just going to move this guy with me. He's going to move with us. But here's the thing, though. That's... Not everybody thinks that way. You're you're I thinking guess. on your level where I guess. you got to realize that people out there, no matter what they are, if they're a nerd, a geek, a jock, they do have greed. They do have greed. Just because there's something know. doesn't I, mean they don't have greed. I I don't know, man. Is this 52? This is not 53. Oh, um, and, um, but I mean, uh, otherwise, I, I, it was a good episode. I really liked it. I liked the way... Like I said, I like the fact that Lowell jumped in, was ready to roll, lost. <laughs> right. Lost and died. Right. And now we're in the situation where she saw Blaine kill her boyfriend. The, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that but, that but, tells me there's going to be but even more but going the, on But the other guy, so. I mean, maybe it's just because it was a brain shot. Well, we're presuming. What? Did they show him get shot in the brain? No. So, I mean, he the, got she shot. She said three, three to the chest. No, no, no. The other guy. Lowell did he shoot Lowell in the brain at the end yeah absolutely he pointed a gun straight to his face yeah, okay. yeah so you're thinking he's headshot dead. still kills these zombies yeah yeah because the other guy okay. well because the other guy got three in the chest and he disappeared he stood up and walked away yeah, yeah so absolutely the headshot. and that was crazy because I hear I was thinking alright you know um, Major's finally going to get somebody on his side he's going to see you yeah. know, the guy and I was like and then as soon as they started walking up the stairs, I'm like, no, nope, he's gone. He's well, because I, like, cause I, cause I thought he got the final shot in the head. But then Major, you know, confirmed. So did I. Yeah, I thought he got it in the face for so sure. So did I. Uh, but uh, it, apparently he got three to the to the body. So um, I was really surprised at that because I, I honestly thought it, the last one was like a fast to the head on accident. But it was it, it was to the right. head. But Apparently not. But here's the thing. Are they going to play out this major part now where... What did I recently watch where they thought he was hallucinating and going crazy? Um, I forgot what it was. But I was watching a show that was doing the similar thing where they were trying to hide something from them. And so that person... Oh, Grim. In Grim, they he thought he saw monsters but then because they're lying to him and telling him he's just seeing things he's gone crazy and then he's in a mental hospital so i'm hoping i'm hoping they don't do the same thing with major i don't, I don't think I they'll don't go i don't think that. they'll go the whole like, hospitalization route right i think we need to get the detective in on this and i think once we have the detective in on this everything will be better right because then it, it's it's just well he can explain more well it's just it easier would be more understand it's just easier it you know if we need to go fight some zombies he's he's down because mm -hmm. right now while she has her own formidable you know full-on zombie mode right so do they so do they yeah so because we needs saw the red on. eyes on the guy attacking Major yeah. when he got up after the two shots. Yeah. Um, so it, they all definitely have their zombie mode. Right. Uh, but because this episode ended with her boyfriend getting shot in the face, I think next episode's even going to be even more interesting. 
Um, I think it's building, building it's really well. Building well. They took they took about uh, you know a third of the season, maybe half, depending on how far we go. I don't know which episode we're on. But I think let's eight. Say, let's say so maybe like a third of the season, you know, a third of the season to kind of build up everybody, kind of put everybody in the position they want them in. Right. And I think now they're going to play out the main story arc, and which is good. I mean, they'll still have the episodic stuff, but sure. I think they'll 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 play out the main story arc. That's a nice reason. I agree. I agree. And so that's why I. Uh, that's why I was actually excited for this last episode. I was actually really happy with it. There was nothing that I could say that I didn't, I didn't like. I like how the uh, episodic part of it played out, and then I like how it, it ended. I right. like how you know now it's going to get even more involved. Clearly, I mean they they really don't have a different way to go with that. Right. So I I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was a good episode. I really don't have any more to say about that either. So. Right. So. Well, yeah, that's that's a, it. Was a good episode. Yeah, let's talk about agents. Let's 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 do agents and and Arrow since they're season finales. Let's do them last. Let's talk about Flash. Okay, let's talk about Flash. Let's talk about Flash. So, Grodd was actually really good. See, at first you didn't enjoy it. Well, though. no, no, because the the graphics weren't that good in that first little behind in the shadows preview. The graphics weren't as good. Right. So I was kind of worried, but when they did this episode. I was way, way excited because that was really good graphics. Like it's not even, you know, hyping it up. Like it's be- it was better than Agents. You yeah. know. Because on Agents and then not everything, but on Agents, like certain structural we talk about this, we'll talk about this later. Yeah. But certain structural things end up being a little out of place. Uh while this giant talking well, telepathically talking Telepathic gorilla. Talking gorilla. Didn't one hundred percent fit in, right? It still fit in a lot better it than was, some things. It was and so mean, it was it was done really well. I was surprised. I like the fact that he's progressing and it shows that he's progressing. All the scribbling on the walls and everything. So right now his attacks are a little more random. They're a little yeah. more you know. It's not. He's focused. still learning. Exactly. He's still, he's still learning. learning. He can't speak uh, verbally yet because I think. I feel like Grodd in the comics can speak with From his mouth. From what I understand, yeah. And even when we've seen animated uh, series, when he was in... He could speak yeah, with his mouth. Yeah, he was speaking. Yeah. But then he could also... Obviously, it's a lot of right. things that we think for him. Right. So, I think he'll build to that. Uh, I like the fact that it's not just like, oh, he woke up and now he's in full control. Right. I, th- they've handled, I think, pretty much every single um, superpower guy really well on the right. show. Right. Um, not a huge fan of the fact that Eddie found out about the whole future thing. Um, yeah, that was... I think it's kind of weird. I, I think it was unnecessary. There was no reason to tell him. Um, but I think he wanted to turn him. He wanted to have somebody against. That's why he was doing it. He he's just to cause more. Yeah, it's just to cause more issues between. Everybody. I see. I see. What that's you're why he did that. He didn't care that he knew, like that he wasn't going to marry her. He cared that because it's going to bring a, 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 a split between the group. That's that's kind of like he wanted to get more attention in the group, which would make sense because, I mean, at the end of the day, even though he, even though Reverse Flash, how you explained to me, he technically against Flash, but at the same time he's like there to better Flash. It's still clearly he wants that attention. He wants to make life difficult for him. Sure. So sure, because I mean, any psychological drama exactly. is gonna come into play in a fight. So right. Um, it, it was overall it was a good episode. I like. Yeah, the Grodd episode overall, I enjoyed it. I like. I, I liked that she helped out. I yeah. like that uh, that Iris helped out. Yeah. That she's kind of on board. She's still kind of mad, and I think it makes sense why she's mad. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's like you, your best friend of how many years has been keeping a major, major secret right. from you, and it's like yeah, for your own protection, but at the same time, you're a grown grown person you should be able to make that decision on your own absolutely and uh so but i'm glad that, that was figured out i i didn't really like the fact that it's like oh we got joe back and then we we're kind of like all right cool whatever like eddie's still missing right why, right, right. why is why are we chit-chatting like okay cool we got joe back 50 percent of the job is done right can we continue working well that's <laughs> that's the thing but i mean he keeps mentioning that he's looking everywhere multiple times i mean he is flash he is fast so he i is, guess yes yeah. so, i mean yeah one, he could check the whole city in so a matter of going an hour on this week's episode 
he mentions it again, but the one place he didn't never looked Be because was it's right under their noses. Right Why would you check noses. there? He didn't check the labs. He right. didn't check where they're at. So, and and they found Eddie finally, and he was there for a decent amount of the episode. You know, showing his concern and how he doesn't want to be involved with uh, Iris anymore. So, it's. You know, it's like I said, it's bringing that tension between them. But honestly, this episode could have been a season finale. I mean, he caught Wells. Like, I don't know what else you would want out of a season finale. He got the well, guy. The season, he was going finale, for. the season finale is the next week. Well, I know. And I'm just season, saying. Well, this tomorrow. Episode, th this episode well, the season finale. Well, the, the, um, the season finale is him going back in time, and you knew yeah. that was going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. You knew absolutely. that was going to happen. Absolutely. So. Because if you remember, he said, this is Barry from now. Right. You know, this is the DNA of a man, Barry's age now. Yeah. So the funny thing is, which means it's 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 a paradox because originally, let's, let's talk a little temporal mechanics for a second. Originally, if you remember, uh, Thawne said, you and your wife in the year 2022 right. will create this device, you know, the, the, the reactor, the accelerator, and, you know, which will change the world. Right. And he said, I need that to happen faster. He did. So, what is it? Seven, seven years earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I would imagine that that gap is, and if we're talking about, like, we're looking at DNA. Right. Presumably, if we can tell that it's not a young person versus a, a grown person, we can tell if it's a grown person of 22 or a grown person of 32 right. or 30 years old, you know? I'm presuming. Right. Presuming that, the flat, the Barry Flash who fought Thawne in the past has always been this timeline's Flash. Right. Not the original one because the original one would have been older. Sure. You know what I'm saying? The, the one where in 2024 he disappears in a crisis, right. he would have been older. So, oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. it's a paradox because it's this yeah. flash that always went back. Because in 2022, he would have been, or whatever, 26, 20, or Yeah, 2023 or whatever. Or whatever. Uh, he would have been older. Yeah, he would have been older. And presumably, again, we're presuming something that they haven't confirmed, but presuming that they can tell the difference between a 25-year-old and a 30-year-old, 32-year-old, right. whatever. I would assume they could. Yeah, because if we're talking about, oh, I can tell the difference between a 12-year-old Barry and 25-year-old right. Barry, like, I, I'm presuming you can tell, Absolutely. you know, maybe down to a year or two difference. Right, right. And so that's that paradox. And that was just kind of funny to me when they said that, and they, I saw the preview for next episode, so that's going to be interesting to see. Um, but it's cool because this episode I, I really liked. I liked that he he went to cold. He didn't like the fact that he went to cold, but yeah. he went to cold. Yeah. Because he's a good guy and he believes people, and that's right. that's that's gonna be the thing that that Flash is always gonna be. You know, you're, you're never gonna have a Flash where he's distrustful, right. distrustful of people. You Although know? I like the fact, which is interesting, because uh, Legends of Tomorrow they have cold in there, but yet cold was definitely evil. So I don't understand how cold's gonna. Did be. you see the the preview? I did a little bit. I didn't watch the whole thing because oh. I thought they were showing some things that might have happened in Arrow, so I stopped. Oh, no, no. Uh, the only thing that they showed, and this is if you watch the whole uh, thing, and we'll talk about Actually, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk Let's talk about uh, Flash. So, uh, in Flash, in this last episode, I really like, you know, he, I, I like the fact that he acknowledged that he couldn't do it himself. Right. Because right at the beginning, he chased him, and he just couldn't even catch up. Yeah. Couldn't even keep up. Yeah. So, he he says, hey, um, I need some backup. Right. So, he calls... Um, God, what's his name? Bobby? Firestone? Robbie. 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 So he calls Robbie. No, that's his actual name. I think it's Robbie in, in both. I think his character is named Robbie and his. Ronnie. Name. Ronnie. Ronnie, that's right. There it Ronnie. is. Because we made that mistake before. I made yes, that mistake before. Ronnie, Ronnie. So he calls Ronnie, he calls Oliver, and he says, Hey, uh, I guess what's going on? I need some help. Here's my problem with that, though. When did Oliver have time for that? When did he magically, like... Doesn't matter. Extricate himself from... Doesn't matter. Shadows. Doesn't matter. Make assassins. I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. I'm not uh, even going to put... 
Because here, like, I'm not even gonna put logic in this. I don't. Because you, you really can't. You, like, I tried, and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, about, I'm like, he would have had to go to Starling, have maybe Felicity tell him, right? Oh, he's you know in Nanda Parbat. He would have right. to know where that is, run across the planet to it to get him. Yeah. But he didn't because he came on his own. Right. And they have no way of communicating. I don't want to spend hours <laughs> thinking about uh, this because there's no point. The but point anyway, is, it, the whole reason in. he was there, to obviously to help him out, but at the same time to set up the Arrow episode. Well, still, but they, they came in and they worked well together, and I like that. that was it was cool. done really well, yeah. And I like the fact that Firestorm, like, they, they, they played re really well off each other, you know, and... I'm glad we're kind of seeing the building of a team. Yes. Even though this whole Legends thing, which we'll talk about in a minute, is kind of weird in concept to me, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but I like the fact that we're kind of be seeing the beginnings of there being a team right. of some sort. So right. I think that's going to be interesting, and I, I like the way it's going. Like I said... I'm, I can't I wait for the finale. I don't have much I'm interested to, to see how they finish it, because catching wells, you, you're right. Definitely like I said, I don't have a lot to say about it. This could have been a finale episode, and it wasn't, so... I, I don't know, because the only thing I can think of is Flashpoint. Yeah. You end it with him saving the mom. Yeah. Which is then... Then what? Then what is... Because then we could undo season one of... Or season three of Arrow. It still wouldn't work. <laughs> because he's off his two-year contract, so they'd have to bring Arsenal back, but they couldn't. Malcolm wouldn't be Raish... Speedy wouldn't be speedy. She would have never died. Like it wouldn't. It wouldn't work. She would have never. Just, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. It's gonna be. It would. It would have never worked. I'm they're just thinking. Gonna, I'm, well, I'm thinking maybe they're gonna do Flashpoint Paradox for like one or two episodes. Right. And he'll go back and they'll. All he'll be fine. realize that he was wrong. Because I, I would like to, if they did Flashpoint Paradox, I would lose my mind because if they played it right, right. Right. Episode one of both shows is in the Flashpoint universe. Right. Just the f people. Right. So I think that'd be cool. But yeah. we'll see what happens next episode. Let's talk about Arrow just because it follows uh, yeah. follows this. So I like the fact that, like I said, it, it set up the fact that he was going to Arrow. Uh -huh. And he, he just like real quick, he said, hey, uh, I'm going to need a favor from you. Right. And he goes. Right. Um, but that was to me, again, because on, on Arrow, when Malcolm tells him, you know, oh, well, we have this whole thing happening. Right. How did he signal Barry to go to again to Nanda Parbat to like to get him? And he, it's just an insane concept. He doesn't mean he doesn't have a phone. He could have called Barry. They comic booked point. the hell out of this. The, these it's two fine. episodes. I don't know why you're trying to use logic on this. <laughs> because don't. everything else has made sense. I don't care. That They've part timed doesn't it happen. well. Everything. Just think it's a cell phone thing. Forget it. It's, it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. That doesn't mean. Hey Ali, I need your help. Cool. Doesn't mean he doesn't have a cell phone over there. So, <laughs> that being said. Uh, I think Arrow, few things I liked about it. I liked Malcolm becoming Raish. Awesome. I like uh, the fact that he finally said it right. Um, I think that... Do you have to be Raish to say Raish? Uh, I don't know, but he became Raish, <laughs> oh. which I like. Um, he killed the other Raish, which was fun. It was fun seeing that because I thought, okay, he's he's dead again. He's, he's going to lose, but nope. He grabs the sword and stabs him. Awesome, great fight. What I didn't like at first was he got shot. She picked him up, and he smiles after they land. And then the next scene, they explain that they say because he was wearing the the armor of the assassins. That's why the bullets didn't really do anything except stun him a little bit. That's awesome. I'm glad they explained that because I was about to be getting. You know, I was like, this guy just got shot like three Left. times. Yeah, this guy got shot three times. And he's smiling, so that's <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But uh, um, you kind of made it. But that was some of the things I liked. Other things I didn't like. The drama. The drama is that much of it is not necessary. I'm cool with drama because it makes sense for him. It, his his life's dark, so there is going to be drama. But like him and Diggle not being cool. It never is never gonna make sense to me. Don't even know why that was written. Um, him and Felicity, like I said, they could have ended that a long time ago. I don't see them in a relationship. I see them as brother and sister. So for me, I didn't care. 
I didn't care that they broke it off originally. I didn't care that they were back together. Now, what is interesting is how they're going to play this. Is Felicity going to die and he comes back to his superhero-ness? Is he going to, like, tell her, you know what? I thought I was cool with going out with you, but you know what? I like being Arrow, so I'm, I'm going back to fight crime. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me, let me say what I liked about this episode. I liked the fact that even though... He knows that they all hate his guts. Malcolm walked into the Arrow, well, not the Arrow Cave. Yeah, you know, yeah, that too. The new headquarters. That. And he was I like, just started handing out orders. Just and he's just like, handle. did I stutter? Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I was I like, forgot I mean, to mention that. yes, because you must have stuttered in your brain <laughs> by the part where they all hate your guts. <laughs> like, yeah, why would that. anyone do what you say? True, true. And then, true. Um, and then Ollie shows up and he's like, oh, yeah, by the way. <laughs> Right. So I like the fact. So is he still technically married? But I mean, I think he's only really married by like league law. What? Well, which? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. There was no official document. So right. I mean, it was more not, of a ceremonial a thing. thing. Right. It was a league thing. Uh, but you know what they're gonna play? And what I think they're gonna play at? What's that? Which is gonna be terrible. But I think they're gonna play the Damien storyline out of it. Dude, when they used the Damien name for a second, I was like. I pray to God. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Because they, the guy that Raish was going for was first name was Damien. Oh, Damien Dark. Yeah, that, that's a different character. He's I actually supposed to be the main that. guy I for the next season. I got you. I understand that. The thing is, when they said Damien, I was like, no. <laughs> that but was I like think, my I first thought. Going, I was like, I think no. they might play that route. Um, I think that. Uh, I hope not, because that would not, listen. I get they're taking Batman stuff and using it for Arrow. If they go. Damien, because Batman's it's, son. I'm, well, I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is that it's it's not going to be exact, but I think it's going to be very similar in in essence. I think they're going to play it so that Raish took their DNA right. and made a baby. Right. Um, that they they knew nothing about it because I originally, guess. obviously, it was uh, Talia took Bruce's. You know, but sure. I'm thinking Raish takes both of theirs and makes an heir per se. Uh, so I think that would be interesting. I'm thinking that's that's where they're going to play it. It's going to depend on what, what they do with Rage because they said uh, Damien Dark is going to be the main bad guy for next season. Right. Uh, as well as something else. Uh, well, the assassins are going to be involved for sure. They they acknowledge that. Um, Mr. Stephen Amell or Oliver Queen he mentioned that he will not be wearing the Arrow suit. So he said Arrow is done. And he, he even yeah. said that in this episode. He yeah. said, you know, Arrow's done. You know, I yeah. can't be that ever again. Correct. So here's the thing. My favorite part of this episode, Speedy. Speedy. That absolutely. was so hot. Absolutely. That was so hot. And I, also I, funny because I'm supposed to believe that what Arsenal wore is what she's wearing. Well, here's the thing. Because that's uh, not on. possible. That, no, it is. Because here's the thing. Remember, I said, because for some reason, his suit all of a sudden had these laces on the back, which originally it didn't. It started having the laces on the back and on the arm. She could have just tightened those. I don't think so. Yeah, sir. yeah. I don't think absolutely. so. Absolutely. What do you mean? I don't think so. I don't think so. Why would they change that? That wouldn't make no sense. Why they all of a sudden changed that? Why all of a sudden he had those when originally he didn't? Because I'm of just that. saying, she looked hot in that outfit. That she was looked great. Gorgeous. I mean, listen, she that was gorgeous. It was perfect. Super reminded me of uh, the Speedy Volume Two. Yeah. Uh, because she was uh, well, she was blonde, so it's a little different. Right. But Otherwise, I really like the fact that she was Speedy because she used the name Mia too. Mia was Speedy yeah. in the comics, so that was really cool. Uh, I love that that moment. I think what they're gonna do. Here's my theory. I think what they're gonna do. Ray is fine because here's the thing. He signed over ownership. Well, we don't know that. That's when technology fails on you. Yeah, that's when technology fails. So, that's, that's an as we were discussing the uh, Arrow finale, yeah, um, I was just finishing up with, uh, you know, I think uh, Speedy looked really good. Yeah. Um, and the last thing is I was going to say is I like the fact that he said, you know, I got to go. I can't be this guy. I think it's going to be interesting how they handle the whole well, that, Felicity thing. The, the, the 
Ray Palmer doing that experiment at the end for the oh miniaturization touches that center button, the whole floor explodes out. Oh my god! So that's obviously how he becomes actual Adam. Right. Um, so I think that's gonna be kind of cool. Um, depending on what plays first, because it's gonna be interesting to see, right? So if Arrow is gonna be a different kind of a different direction, because they said it's gonna be more of a uh, more of kind of like a fun, more more along the lines of Flash. Okay. Uh, so they said it's going to be lighter. It's not going to be quite as dark. So hopefully less drama. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Um, I'm thinking that they're probably not going to play. Like, Ray's probably not going to be on it because he's going to be on Legends. Right. Now, granted, Legends involves time travel. So it's kind of hard to say. Sure. Where that's going to, you know, how that's going to play that. into the, the main that. stories. But um, I like the fact that they left. I think what's going to happen in season two is that um, when Ray. Ray's probably going to end up change because remember he had that plan to change it to Star City. Right. Uh, I'm thinking they're going to get the notice that she owns Palmer, especially now that he's dead. Right. You know he might he might be you know quote unquote dead right. because of the explosion. Um. So she's going to be like, hey, you're uh, you're CEO. You need to come the fuck back here. Um. So that's how they come back. Sure. And then they're going to maybe execute that whole. Star City plan, at which point he might come out as the Green Arrow. Right. Maybe in a brighter suit and maybe with a public identity. Right. Which I think would be interesting. It would be interesting. Because I mean, especially definitely... if it's going to be more fun, more more yeah. lighter, I think uh, a public identity would be key to that. I agree. Uh, I think that would play definitely in an interesting manner on, on the show because, um, because obviously the captain already knows. He right. clearly knows. He's, I mean, there's no question about there's it. There's no question about it. He's not delusional to the fact. Um, and the city knows. So why not just play it off then? Why not play it off that he, you know, people know, and it's like, it's not okay, but it's okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's protecting the city. But it really, what's, to me, I mean, just to finish it off, yeah, the whole Palmer thing, I mean, obviously, I love it. He's like, he presses the button. He's like, I can't get them all on first try, and then moves his hand and then boom that was just like can't wait to see him as the real Adam because I know he's not dead but he's still um, gonna have the, the armor though which I think is funny but that's fine that's fine I don't care about that maybe not maybe the ar well, maybe no, not oh you haven't seen the you haven't seen the Legends trailer yeah so I mean I did see some of it so he is in there with the armor but maybe he shrinks in the trailer oh okay that I yeah like seen. he legit shrinks in the um, armor, so uh, I think it's gonna be, but it makes sense, I guess, a little bit because right. Marvel's playing the whole thing like when you shrink down, you still have power, the full power of, right. a, of a grown human being, right? So you're gonna have a lot of power in a small, you sure, know, you're gonna, you know, concentrate your power, right? So maybe they're gonna play like he's still, like he's gonna be miniaturized, right? right. And he's gonna be miniaturized power, sure. So, so I mean. It was a good episode. Um, I wish they would still dial down. Like I said, it, it sounds like they might next season dial down on the drama part of it. But it'll be interesting to see how he comes back as the Arrow. Because clearly he told her he's not that man anymore. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Can't wait to see what they do with that. But uh, yeah, Agents. Let's, uh, let's talk about Agents. That long two-hour finale, the episode beforehand. I can't even... Oh, that's right. So she shoots herself and kills the one dude. That's really the only thing that part that's is really important. That's really the only thing I can The only thing that's that important episode. about that episode is that... that She's they a have, they, arrange, they arrange the sit-down. You have this mislead where you think um, uh, Reyna is going to... Reyna is trying to, like, grab grab power, right. which makes sense to her character. Uh, but I like I like that she had this moment of redemption at the end. I agree. Uh, I like that she's, you know, she even said, I always thought I was going to be, whoa, that was a bad decision. Uh, <laughs> um, well, maybe not. Maybe. Quite, not, not as bad as that one would be. Clearly. The other direction is way too crowded. I was I was definitely thinking if I should take the road, but oh well. Oh well. Uh, um, it is what it is. I mean, you can um, 38 if you need to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought for sure Reyna was playing, you know, trying to play the hand and and trying to manipulate somebody, but clearly that was not the case in no, that episode. The manipulation was definitely from Jaying, and she, wow, that was insane. That was insane. I, I didn't see it coming because she, wow, this is weird, super sideways. Yeah, it's because the there. thing likes to move. <laughs> um, I, I didn't see it coming because she really seemed like a nice person. Right. You know, not bitter at all. But then you find out that she's super bitter about what happened to yeah. her. Really, like, any concept of 
contact with the outside world is just awful to her, yeah. and she decides that they need to have a show of force. Right. So they they kill they kill Gonzalez. They they take over the shield hell or the shield. Yeah, the shield. I mean, technically, it's a hell carrier. Technically, um, till the shield carrier rather the shield carrier. Right. Um, and then they the they send they actually sent Cal to cause some havoc at the base too. So the idea was to kill everybody yeah. or turn them yeah. if they were if they were inhuman. Um, but then they go in. Really great moments, I think, for a lot of characters. Uh, Mac kind of holding his own against uh, Gordon was awesome. Yeah, yeah, for a little um, while. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I love, uh, I love, I love the, the fights between May. Uh, Man, Sky, Sky was great. That was a cool fight. But then Sky fighting uh, the blonde or the redhead. Um, that was a really well done fight shit, scene. Matt calling her Tremor. That that was cool. Tremors, yeah, that was cool. Uh, tremors. Uh, I liked I like that they said there's gonna be more uh, there's gonna be more ginger ninjas in the hallway. Yeah, ginger ninjas. <laughs> ginger um, ninjas in the hallway. But it, listen, it was I overall I enjoyed this finale. Um, it was cool to see uh, Sky's dad um, become a little bit of a good guy, uh, go against the wife. I think all that was very interesting. I think that I think Coulson played that role. really well. Let's, uh, let's adjust this. I think Coulson played that really well. Um, Coulson getting his hand chopped off. That was nuts. nuts. I was sitting there and I'm watching it and I like kind of thought of it. And it reminded me of that episode of, of Walking Dead. Yeah. Where yeah. he chopped off uh, Herschel's yeah. leg. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I just, I didn't know what was going to happen. And then it was like, hack. Right. And I love the fact that she's like, ah. <laughs> but I love that he was so mellow about it. Obviously, this is a little time after. Yeah. You know, his hand is band-aid up. And He's like, like, oh, you you, but, you, uh, you got Mac to say, well, he did owe me after chopping off my hand without asking. Without asking, yeah. Uh, I thought. It like, was... he would have had a different solution. Right, said, right. Like, hey, should I chop your hand off? Hold on a second. <laughs> let me. While well, I turn into stone. Let me give think me, about me it. Let me think about it. Um, I'm but, thinking. I'm thinking they're gonna give him a death lock on. Oh, that'd be great. I, that'd think be, I can't wait to see Coulson with a with a uh, robotic arm. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll but be here's great. My, here's my question on, on the level of shield. So let, let's let me, I'll, I'll ask a question in a second. Sure. So we've got the finale. That's so that's set up. the The new concept for season three is going to be awesome because they're building a team based on people with powers yeah so that's awesome that's like a, and they want to keep it secret well, here's which to me automatically speaks secret revengers well there's uh, secret defenders there's secret the defenders secret? but recently there was a, a secret Avengers. okay as well, actually well here's the thing the whole secret thing i um, think that's civil the, war because they want secret others won't i think that's civil war and obviously, Tony's going to be on the no secrets, and uh, well, no, because uh, no, I don't. Think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it plays in that way because I think what's going to happen is after New York and then after Sokovia, sure. they're they're going to want to like the government is going sure. to want to say we need something to manage these people, right? Something, some kind of oversight. Yeah. Uh, and I think I feel like they said that there is like a plot that came out. There is, yes. They, they they did say it's a plot that came out, and after those two events, um, it said after another event, another terrible event. Sure. I feel like that's t maybe talking about Sokovia, not an yet another one. I'm okay. hoping it's just Sokovia. Right. Um, but there, so there's a new villain coming in in Civil War, and then there, uh, the, the the fight is we need a governing body to decide when for when team like this should take action right and the opposite side is going to be sure no we're going to do what we do sure so that's going to be iron man versus captain yeah because yeah. i think iron man's going to side with the idea of some sort of governing body which doesn't make sense to me because remember i've successfully privatized world peace yeah i know i know it doesn't make sense i kind of i want them to be on but he was always on, sides. but he was always on the point where he didn't care to hide his secret though Right, so that why would he side with a government that would say no we need secrets. to? Well, not no secrets, but why would he side with a government that would say oversight and the government should decide when a team like this? I should see be what you mean, but it also goes with because I feel like stuff. Because I feel like because I don't think secret identity is going to be a, a 
factor because none of these people have secret identities. Sure. No one's really like keeping it keeping tight. Right. Um, so I think what's going to come down, I, mean, I think Cap might be on the government side. Well, here's the I thing. I think Cap might be like, we need more oversight right. so that we don't have like another Hulk situation. Well, that's not true because he also, oh, maybe, maybe. because I kind of want them to be flipped. Right. Because I want. But it would make more sense for the cinematic universe for them to be flipped. But then again, they said, nobody ever said this was going to follow the comic right off the bat. So... But that's enough. Enough talking about that. But yeah, so uh, I, I like Agents of Shield. I, I like mean, what they're setting up. I like the the new potential. You know, the new team that's going to be set up, which is going to be cool. Absolutely. You're probably going to have, you know, a Deathlock's probably going to be back. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have Sky or Daisy. It looks like she's going to go by Daisy now, which I think would be cool. Um, I like what they did with. I the hope dad, they call her uh, Tremor. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be, be cool. Name. I like what they did with the dad with yeah. wiping his mind. Yeah, they, I thought they, that was they, cool. They put him through Tahiti and. Yeah. You know what? He can actually be beneficial as a veterinarian. Yeah. So, but you know, it's not just like let's just shove him in a corner somewhere. Yeah. No, it's let's absolutely. let's repurpose him. Yeah. Uh, which is cool. I like that. Um, uh, what was the other thing they set up? They set up. Uh, well, the thing at the end. The ending. It was really kind of sad for me. I have a beef with it, but I, it was really kind of sad because we have this moment where Fitz and Simmons are like. We might want to do some stuff. We go out, hang out, do some stuff, talk about it. Yeah, that's was... like, yeah, cool. And I was like, thank you. Just thank you. Yeah. And then it hit me from nowhere. Yeah. Because he, he leaned on it and you could hear it open. Yeah. But I'm like, this is a highly secured artifact. It's, it's not possible. It's in a gigantic, it's huge box. I'm not like, possible. she's just going to snap that last the last hatchback because or the, the latchback because there can't just be one latch right because in my mind I'm like it's impossible for the I mean this thing needs to be secure right yeah so he said we're never going to open it in a thousand years right. it can't be one latch right it just cannot be and she leans over and no sh it, that's just one latch and the door is open and she's like oh for the love of it let me go close this and it just comes out and eats her right and I was like what the hell does she maybe become something possibly well here's the thing they said the inhuman said that she or the, the the rock is um, designed to destroy them. Destroy them, right? I'm thinking she might get the powers of it. Some so sort I of. Think, I, I don't think they would get rid of her as a character. On the I don't story. think so. And, and I mean, I haven't heard anything about her like being out of contract or anything. Right. Or wanting to leave the show. So I, I think I'm hoping that she gets powers. I agree. I'm hoping she gets powers of some sort. Maybe she's like a bad guy for an episode or two while they try to figure out how to fix her. Here's the thing. Because I'm thinking I, I it's going to make her want to kill Inhumans. I hope not because we already try, We already saw them try to make her a bad guy by her like second-guessing Sky and the powers. I don't, I don't mean like that. I mean she's going to be a bad guy like Mac was for that, those two episodes. Okay. I think it's going to take her over like, and kind of just over. like automate. Well, that's not her being a bad guy. Yeah. That's her not having well, her, control. Be, her being, yeah, her being out right. of control is her being. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking they're going to do something like what they, they did, did with Mag, except she's going to be like driven to attack Inhumans. Right. So you're probably going to see a couple fights with her and Sky, but obviously it's all conjecture. I don't know, but I'm yeah. thinking that's the way it's going to go because it wouldn't make sense to get rid of her. I no, I mean, especially this... having brought her character up to where it is now. Right. You know, she kind of went through this little rough, rough period with being racist for no reason, but right. now, and I think this, you know, any lingering kind of of that might be resolved by her going through such an experience yeah. um, so I think it'll be interesting I think she might be like left with some some kind of powers I agree I agree um, so that, that's pretty sure I, th I thought it was a really really good episode it was a good finale yeah it was a good, absolutely. I mean listen um because what, what did I say I said I uh, the other thing real quick I love the fact that agent 33 is dead I it was the it, it was excellent the beautiful execution by May. Right. May's like, all agents should, like, do nothing until you see my face. Yeah. And she, like, that played that cool. psychology. That was cool. She's like, but there's no other agents left. And he's, she's like, she doesn't know that. Yeah. And he sees May, bop, 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 three in the, three in the yeah. torso. And she's like, but baby. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was gorgeous. That, that was, was awesome. an excellent that scene. That played out really well. I enjoy that quite a bit. I'm, I'm actually happy she's gone. Not... 
Bobby I'm, said I'm, I can't so, do this though. I'm sorry. I don't mean the actress is out of a job. I don't mean that. But I just didn't. I got annoyed with. I'm sure the, she'll be fine. Right. I'm sure she'll be fine. Uh, but I didn't like the character anymore. I was just getting sick and tired of her. It was just being mad. It was just, it was just you know? pissing and moaning. Yeah. Honestly. It was just, it was just like oh, being mad because she got tortured. Yeah. yeah. It was Hydra. You got tortured. You know. Uh, I just it, I, I felt like they dra- it, it, it wasn't necessarily dragged out, but it was a really long storyline for something that it, it didn't need to be. It didn't, it didn't, need, didn't to need to be. It, it was an additional element of drama that they wanted to run, which is fine, but it ran way too long, right. in my opinion, so I'm glad she's done. Uh, Ward is now the head of Hydra. That's the other thing they set up. Yeah, Ward yeah. Ward is now the head of Hydra. He's rebuilding Hydra, so that's going to be interesting. Obviously, they're going to keep him on as an as a actor, so that's going to be cool. Uh, I, mean, I like listen, him overall. I like him overall. And like I said, uh, this is this is my favorite two episodes of both seasons, uh, or two hour one episode, whatever yeah, you want to call. It. Yeah, yeah. Of, would, of both agree. seasons, uh, the first season I completely didn't like. Um, you this had, huh? Even the last like three episodes. Even the last with, with three. The, the Hydra thing. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't make me happy. It was just not anything. True. So, out of the two seasons, this, in my opinion, is. Either you can look at it as a two episodes or one, what one episode. One, yeah, the finale was the best episodes of the entire two seasons, which is awesome. But I like Ward. I like, I like that he was a good guy. I like that he kind of turned. You know, not kind of. He turned. I like they tried to play with that aspect of his story, and I like him as a bad guy. I actually, I like him as a bad. I guy. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, he was a good, good guy. I think he's a really good bad guy. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I think agree. He, he... He's clearly got issues. It's yeah. working better. It's working yeah. better for for them as creating stories for these characters. Because um, in the first season, I didn't think they had any kind of development at all for these characters. And right. it seems to be just working better overall. And like I said, this this definitely this finale was the best out of anything I've seen out of the two seasons. So, Absolutely. Um, honestly, that's... I, That's I really, pretty much it. I don't have here. anything else to say about that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We got a couple other things I want to talk about real quick, um, but let's do a TLDR real quick. TLD, okay. TLDR, uh, Gotham finale. Uh, best episode of the season. Best episode of the season for a lot of characters, I think. Yeah. And overall. In overall. Uh, I Zombie. Uh, well, the the first the the last episode was a great episode. I enjoyed it probably the most out of all. Uh, the f- the one before it, it, it was a good setup. It was a good setup for the, for this last episode. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I think it's going to go in an interesting di- direction from this point. Um, uh, Flash. G- great episode. Could have been a finale. Agreed. Agreed. So I think the finale is going to be even better. Yeah. Uh, so I can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, right. Um, uh, Arrow. Um, overall, good episode. Once again, I wish the drama would uh, would uh, fade out, which I think it will. Agreed. I, th- I think um, it was a good finale. I think it could have been better, but I think it was still a good way to end the season. It was definitely the lowest finale out of the three finales we've had so far. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Agents, as uh, we said, was a fantastic finale. Yeah. The best uh, best thing they've had for two seasons. So Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. The last thing I want to do is I want to touch on a few kind of key factors. I don't know if I talked about it before. Constantine has been canceled. Constantine so, is canceled tough. officially. I know Stephen Amell is trying to get it. To everybody, go to yeah, CW. everybody's trying to get it moved over to CW or another network, and somebody I, else to pick it up. I think it could be cool, but they need new writers. They need new writers. I mean, if they went to CW, I'm sure they'd have new writers, right? Because uh, they'd have to work it into that universe. But I think it'll be cool. I think, I don't know. I'm not sad that it's gone. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be excited that it was back, but I would still enjoy that it was back. Absolutely. I just, I like, I like having this kind of stuff. To and watch. So and if it to can, me, it's like, and yeah. I'll, and <laughs> if it can mix in with Arrow and Flash, I think sure. that would be cool. So. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about the preview for uh, Legends. So the preview for Legends, he hasn't seen the whole thing. I've I have. seen about a half of it, I would say. Uh, two things I want to touch on real quick. Rip Hunter, I think, is well, a few things. Rip Hunter, um, interesting character. He he prepositions. No, that's not the right word. He positions the whole mission here in the context of in the future. You guys are a team. You're not just a team. You're legends, right? right. That's kind of where the whole name of the show comes from. Blah blah blah. But 
Cold? Captain Cold? Really? Captain Cold is on this yeah, Legends team? Yeah, I don't team? understand so, that. So, like, because... am I supposed to believe that somehow, because the rest of them could foreseeably be on, like, a Justice League or Justice Society. Right. I still think Society is the way to go in this series. But you're telling me that Cold ends up being on the Society somehow? I mean... Or, or Rip Hunter is a freaking G, and he's playing Cold ahead of time right. so that when it comes time where they need Cold or need Cold to be Cold, and be, you know betray them or sure. whatever he will and they need him to do that because he's already seen the future right that's kind of what I'm hoping because it just doesn't make sense I, I like that I know that they like the character I know that they like the actor mm-hmm. um, I don't love the idea of Cole being on the team but I do love the fact that they have uh, Sarah back they show they I don't know, should, right, which what I was expecting to happen on the finale of Arrow because they show somebody carrying her to the pit oh they showed her coming out of it Okay, well, yeah. there's that. So I thought that was going to happen at the end of Arrow. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, so... Because I figure, okay, uh, you know, uh, you got Malcolm becoming Raish. Raish's real thinking, daughter wasn't happy, but if he gave her Sarah, she'd accept it a little better. So that's what I was expecting to happen, but it didn't I happen. could see that, but Sarah's been dead for a while. I mean... Time travel. No, he, because they carry her dead body. Yeah, but it, it they have to have died recently. I mean, I don't know how. I don't think I don't think out. the Lazarus Pit reanimates dead, dead. I think you gotta have been dead for maybe like less than a couple days. Because I think that's why. Well, I was gonna say because his sister was dead at least for a day or two before they right. got there. But Sarah's been dead for months. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at least like six to eight months. Uh, I'm thinking Rip Hunter takes her out of the grave as soon as she's buried, or maybe like that night, or whatever. Right. Takes her to the to to the pit. That's when she's Actually, no, you know what? I, I, I'm i sorry. I lied. She wasn't dead because they took her out of the hospital with medical stuff. Because they told the hospital they were taking her to a different hospital, to a better hospital. So she wasn't dead. I apologize. His sister. Oh, his sister. Yeah, his sister. Right, right, So right. that's my fault. So she actually wasn't dead. So, yeah, I don't know how they're going to do that. That's going to be interesting because, yeah, she's she's been buried in a ground. Yeah, she's... Dead. She's dead. So I, so, I don't know how they're gonna put. I'm but thinking, yeah, I saw that she's back. I'm thinking um, clone. No, not clone. No, because no, they, they take her, take her to, the, to pit. the pit. They take her to the pit. I'm thinking maybe maybe Nissa does it. Uh, but again, time travel. But so maybe time maybe time. maybe he comes to Nissa and says, "Hey, I need help," and she's like, "I won't do it." But if you bring Sarah back, you she'll do it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We're, we're guessing here. We're guessing. Uh, I like the fact that Adam um, shrinks. That was cool. That was awesome. Uh, I don't know if you saw the part where Hot Girl is actually in Hot Girl costume. And flies. Yeah, I saw her fly from the building. That's I thought all that I was saw. dope. I thought it um, was awesome. I think that. I like cool. the fact they really went super comic book with it, and I love it. I love it. Um, I like the Flash and Arrow are on it, which I think is weird. Well, I mean, they're gonna be. They're gonna come on it. That, that's without a doubt they're gonna well, like show they're up. the ones setting it up which is sure. weird okay well see here's, here's, here's the thing I don't thing. think it's weird because well, here, here, he like well, in the trailer because what the trailer they're showing him saying what he said at, in the finale I I started this alone but that's not how it ended like I didn't you know I started alone but now I have other heroes so I think that's why he's the one starting it well that's right and that's what I'm thinking now, now that I think about it I forgot he was in that for a moment but that's probably how Sarah comes back Maybe he says, yeah, I'll help you, but since you can time travel, let's grab her from the moment of like moment of burial or moment of her death or whatever. Lazarus put it. You can time travel. Who cares? But she's I, still but buried. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. He time travels and changes that. Other things change. But she's dead. But other things change. If he brings her back a day... After she's dead, things change because Why? because then Speedy wouldn't have died. Because Malcolm Malk, uh, wait, 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 no, after. No. I'm saying he brings her back to life, but then he they leave that timeline and come back to the future. But it would still change. No, it wouldn't. No one else would know. So how would it affect anything else? Because if they still think she's it, they still think she's in the grave. You know what I'm saying? But. No, because if that's going to happen in his timeline, then she's not dead. That changes everything. No. Yeah. He no. doesn't know. Until, no, no. What I'm saying is it season three has ended, right? Okay. And it's been a couple months or whatever. And Rip Hunter's like, hey, um, 
need this team. Comes to Arrow. Arrow says, uh, no dice unless you bring Sarah back. Okay. And he's like, well, I can't. She's dead. Sure. He's like, well, you can time travel. Go grab her from right where she was buried. Bring her back. Bring her here. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, and then let's I take her to the pit. Because then saying. she's only been dead a day or two. You know, I see take her to the pit because because they buried her in her own grave sure. in secret. So they buried her that night. I wasn't thinking about it that way. I thought you meant like in that when mm. he goes back, no, 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 no. grab her there. No, no, no. That would make it, sense because then he wouldn't go to Raish if he brought her at that point. Right, because then he could say, he Malcolm, know about uh, the Res Lazarus pit. At right, because he would he would say, hey, Malcolm, I need the room. Uh, clear your guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would. Uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead. Sure. And quit here. Um. Um, so I think that would make sense. But anyway, um, they've got them. They've got Flash is going to be on there. Uh, they've got half of uh, half of Firestorm, which I think is funny. Um, because he even says, I'm half a hero. But then in the next shot, you see him as Firestorm. So I don't know exactly why that works that way. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting to see. Because if, if they can merge without being in the same space, that'd be kind of cool, I think. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is Supergirl. You saw the trailer. Yes. What are your thoughts on Supergirl? This is um, my iced tea. It's probably not cold anymore. <laughs> I don't like the suit, and I don't like the trailer. I don't like the trailer. The trailer was too much fun, I think, personally. Because I don't think she would be that fun with humans. I disagree. Let me tell you why. I, okay, so I like the suit better than when I saw the first shot of it. The first photo. The of first it, photo was I hated terrible. That. Yeah. Um, because it, she had leggings on. Her leggings are like dark. I wish she had pants. I don't care for the skirt. I hate the skirt. I despise I the, the skirt. skirt. I don't care for. But the skirt. it looks better on the show. I like the fact that they play. They have a little fun with the combo design, and she comes out in that like midriff showing thing and she's like right. I'm not wearing this and I'm like that's that's good because that's what she wears in the comics right. like, that's funny but she definitely should have pants on I think I hate hate the skirt I showed you the one they're the super one. They're, they're definitely playing off the original storyline right. right she's like everyone knows like Superman already exists Superman's already a thing right um, so I love the fact that she like they're, they're playing that just as it happened right um, it's Indicates to me that that she's not going to be crossing over with uh, Arrow or Flash. I don't think so because it seems like they're crossing this over with the movie. Uh, it almost seems like because I they're literally that. playing off him being there, him being something, people knowing about him. Yeah, but but it's I mean it's not the same universe though. I'm not. I'm just saying because Jimmy's like because Jimmy's not black in that movie. Uh, I guess that's true. I guess that, <laughs> uh, which I thought was funny. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because she's like, you're Jimmy Olsen. He's like, James Olsen. But it's, it's, He's like, I'm 35 years old. But boy. it's <laughs> almost like they're playing it off the movie. Yeah, it's, it seems thing. like it, definitely. Um, I don't know. I, I like the concept, right? And he they even kind of explain it. He's, you know, why 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 didn't he say something? Why didn't he, you know, encourage me to do this if he knew I was going to be good at it? And he's like, he wanted you to make that decision on your own. He didn't yeah. want you to, yeah. to be a superhero because he sure. told you to. Um and it makes sense to me. And so it makes sense that why she kind of has this normal everyday life. And she just, I don't know, people are being mad, like, people are mad about it because it like resembles the fake trailer or fake trailer they did for Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? No. It, it's like Devil Wears Prada with Black Widow. Where she's well, like, that's, you know, that's she's a mumbling thing, executive right. assistant or whatever. Well, that's and it's thing. like, I, I mean, I, I get it, but. Who cares? I like that uh, uh, Felicity. Is it Felicity? No, not Felicity. The other one. Um, Ally McBeal is her boss. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't. I forget her name. Yeah, I don't. I don't know her name. But I, I agree. It gave. It gave away like this. I don't know. It, it just. I couldn't. I couldn't hundred percent take it seriously. I, I see where you're. I see where you're coming from. That. That, that was like um, the thing. That's why. Although I, I like the fact that she she kind of plays it off like. I, it almost seems like people might know, or they're gonna play it like they the don't. Because like her, even though they took a picture after she lands the plane, you can see that her face is not really showing, so they don't know. But if, there are a few people that are clearly gonna know. Right. Um, 
I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm I'm definitely excited to see it. Um, so I think the trailer did its job for me. Yeah. Um, they shot I mean, don't a get lot because if that's a, so theoretically speaking, they shot only the pilot, right? Right. They just picked up Supergirl maybe a couple months ago. Right. So unless they just went ham and started recording five episodes already, that was a lot of footage. Well, yeah. yeah. From. I don't think the same one story. No, they they've clearly they're they were confident with it and they continued unless it was like a two hour pilot because then I can see it. Even then, because that would they, be cool. They clearly continued with it, so I, I think they're confident with the pilot and they're obviously. I mean, if I think it'll be interesting. I think I think I think next season we're gonna have to have two of these a week, one for superheroes, one for because otherwise it's gonna be like an hour and a half. Right. <laughs> so yeah, because we're gonna have two Walking Dead shows, another superhero show. Right. There's gonna be a lot of shows next season. But that's I don't know. That's, but that's you got anything else? That's pretty much it. I'm excited to see uh, Jessica Jones uh, this fall on Netflix. Yeah. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. That's all we got for you guys. Uh, sorry for those few who watch us on a regular basis. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up for us. Make sure you subscribe. Check out Facebook for our contest for the headphones and the router. Make sure you get us to that hundred likes. And uh, as always, I've been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.